Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today, um, we're gonna help a doll that's been hanging out and moving location to location all over the place and hasn't gotten a makeover in a while. This is Chloe. Um, I believe she came out in 2007 uh, for the Bratz movie. Uh, I love her because she's a styling head that has legs and arms that are... So apparently, I don't I don't know how many there are in this line. There, I I know that there's a Sasha, and I know that there's a. I, I'm not really, I don't I'm not down with all the brats uh, to know enough like about their names and stuff. But I know this is Chloe. I know there's a Sasha, and I think there's a Yasmin, and that's all I know about. Um, there are plenty. There are lots and lots of brat styling heads out there. Some that have like half bodies. Some that are just heads. But I liked these specifically, like when I ran into her. Now, I didn't buy her new. I got her actually used um, at a Goodwill <laughs> probably more than 12 years ago. The Goodwill that I got her from doesn't exist anymore. But let me get you a closer look at that beautiful face, her beautiful face. She's got those like side looking blue eyes, those big red lips. I just, I love everything about her. And I like that she's just wearing a basic black pair of pants and a, a camisole. And I love that her arms move. So you can put them up and hold them. Now, uh, she's basically made so that you can give her, you can give her a new hairstyle. But I, today I'm going to be doing her nails. The nail polish is on there right now is like a clear with sparkles and it's been on there for years. So we're, we're going to start with um, a couple of Q-tips or a couple of, what are they called? Cotton swabs? No. Yes, cotton swabs. And we're going to get, um, did I bring in the, there it is. We're going to get um, some nail polish remover. And what I usually do is just pour in the cap here a little bit. Okay. Put that over here. Put you back up. There's a reason why there's a towel here, because I'm clumsy. Alright. Here, just stay right like that. Let's get closer in on her feet. Should we do the feet the same color as the nails, as our, our nail polish? I think so, but first we're going to get rid of the nail polish that's on there, so hopefully I can. I put it on there pretty dark, pretty thick. Oh, it's coming off, but it's pretty dirty. I probably should have just used a piece of tissue paper instead of these, instead of wasting these guys. Let's try it one more time, though. Yeah, let's just go get uh, some tissue paper. I mean, some tissues. Okay. Yeah, that was a better idea, I think. I feel like the... it's not coming out very good. Oh yeah, I forgot. I put it on really thick last time because I wanted I wanted the sparkles to show up, and they did, but. There's layers. There's just layers. Her toes are so nasty. She has like nail polish foot fungus. Okay. I feel like I want to do like a red. Like a rosebud red. That was so hard to get off. I'm still gonna be picking out those. Maybe we it wasn't um, originally invented to use regular nail polish. Maybe it had a special nail polish that was made just for her, but I don't know, I use human stuff. 
because like I said, I got her second hand and I didn't get her with anything. I don't know what kind of accessories she's missing. But I've seen some of them in boxes on a... On like some other online aftermarket sales. And it seems like... I don't know. Wow, this is taking a, not really coming off very good. Is it? Is the nail polish remover that I have? Is it non, non acetone? Hmm. I'm coming right back with different nail polish remover. Okay, so this is a different brand, but I'm not brand advertising. This one's non-acetone. It doesn't smell as good for some reason. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Like I said, this has been on there for a couple of years. It almost looks like there's nail polish under the nail polish. I think that's what I probably did. I did like a peach color or something. And then... Covered it up with the sparkles. My goodness though, those sparkles do not want to come off. They're in there good. I don't know what color I'm gonna, like I said, I, I think I have an idea that I kind of want to go red. Maybe I can find a color that matches her lip color. If I can find a color that matches the lips. Maybe. There we go. I got her her nail polish and her toenail polish. If I can get that, clear that in there. Let's see. Let's move back a little bit. There we go. Got it all cleaned out. Try to put her hair behind. Um, I don't have any hair pieces for her right now, but I do have a lot of nail polish that I don't use, so let's use it on her. Let's see, we have this hot pink, which could work. We have... What else do we have? Oh, we have this blue, which also could work. But I wanted to do some kind of red. Oh, we have this plum color. Oh, it really is called plum. So we have plum. That could work as well. But I want like a bright red. I'm looking for a bright red. Uh, no, not this color. Hmm. Well, that is sparkles, and we're not doing sparkles, so you're out automatically. I like sparkles, but I don't like them on her. I decided. I decided in, during this video that sparkles are not for her. And I have a lot of sparkles. Here's a... Is this one sparkles? Or is this just kind of a... I don't know. We have another kind of teal color. I might be I might be going with hot pink. Which is Alright, so I also found this color called is it Vampire Seduction. So I think I might go with that. Well I have my crappy nail polish remover right here. So let's go let's go down and focus on our toes. Just in case this doesn't end up working out for us. Because the plum looks really good too. I, want, I wanted something bright, like a bright red, but apparently that's not something I own. Let's see, though. Wow, I am not good at painting nails. Let's try another one. Yeah, 
I'm going to say no to this nail polish. Let's try the plum. You know what? Let's just go the opposite direction and uh, try the blue. But I need to get all this right off first because if I'm doing a blue, it's not going to blend. It should come right off because it's not even dry yet. Okay. Now let's try hard. Not smear it everywhere. This is a nice summer color. Oh man. That nail polish room smells like pickles. I it with clear because I'm bad at this. But I think it looks okay. I think this is a nice summer color for Chloe. What do you guys think? I, I am happy. Okay. And I think we should make her I think we should make her her, her fingernails match. She needs a hair thing too. Her hair needs to be brushed. That is a whole other ball of string. You guys don't want to sit here and watch me brush her hair. I don't think anyway. Unless I'm talking about something very entertaining, which... Ah! Oh my goodness. I am not a good nail painter. Are we going for a second coat? I think we should. I don't know. You need to let them dry. There we go. What do you guys think of this color? I know it doesn't match your lip color, but it doesn't have to. I actually like this color. What is it called? Hmm. Oh, it's color changing. Okay, so inside, uh, it is like a teal color, and outside, it's like a dark green teal. Does it just change color in the sun? Hmm, well, the sun's down, so I'm not gonna be able to experiment with her today. Maybe I will do a short tomorrow if the sun comes up. Because it did rain a lot today. But the other thing, too, is I need to make sure that those are done well. I might have to go over them again. They're a little light. But overall, I'm digging the color. Perfect. There's her feet. There's her hands. And there is her beautiful face that just wants to hide behind her hair. I am all set and Chloe is all set for her summer. Had her summer manicure pedicure <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye guys